Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about five today video will be all about five tips how to study better effectively. Number one, take a glass of milk or bowl of fruit before you start studying to wind down. Drinking milk before start studying or before going to bed help you to wind down. Milk contains vitamin B, vitamin D, protein, calcium, and which helps your muscle to relax and reduce the stress level. Or you get a bowl of fruit which contain most needed essential vitamin you need for your health before start studying which help to boost your brain and your ability to read better and study effectively number two tips you need to follow take a short nap or sleep for an hour or more sleeping helps to relax the brain bring the mind and the body together get them relaxed the effect of not sleeping after doing some hard work before starting reading, you will feel dizzy. But when you start studying after doing some hard work, it makes you feel dizzy and even feel asleep. Why? Which means studying will not be happening anymore. Get the body relaxed. You have to get the mind relaxed and the brain ready to start reading. So you won't just like to push them up after some hard work and you will like them to take in those things you study. No, it doesn't work like that. You only end up losing most things you learned that day. So you have to relax the brain, relax the mind and start before you start studying. Then number three steps to take or tips to follow to study better. Find a quiet place to study better. The best place I have ever studied is a place that is well is quiet and well ventilated if you want to have effective results after studying for a very long time or for a period of time find a quiet place and well ventilated area where hair fresh air usually flow all through and when there is no one at home where your bedroom is is quiet you can make use of it but if you think studying at home would be a problem when there is people at home or kids around that disturb you a lot you have to go to the library the library is a place for reading so i will suggest you going to the library which yes the library is the best place to read but i won't advise some group of people that are called the read aloud people like you want to the way you read your own pattern of reading is quite different from the way other people read like you want to read a sentence find a quiet place to read and you can't sit in inside your mind or read it quietly without understanding it better. But when you, before you have to understand it, you have to read it out. Like find a quiet place to read. I won't advise those kind of people to read in the library because you get kicked out of the library, and that will bring something else to you, or it will deprive you from not reading or studying effectively. So I would advise you to make room, use of your bedroom, or use make use of the park or the garden i'm sorry to see the park but four tips to follow to study better find the accurate time to study from as for me the best time for me to study i don't like studying daytime because i feel weak and at times i feel depressed because of the heat i feel during the day so i ha will have to go and take my bath and pour take shower so many so many several times and it's it kills my spirit of reading that day. So what I usually do, I usually read at night, wherever it's cool, calm, and there is no noise at all. Study effectively and successfully. I will. I would like to answer this question: What is the best time to study? Or like to yourself, what is my best time for me to study? Or what time do I find suitable for me to study? Yes, that is a nice question. I do advise you to study at your free time, but not just at any free time you like, because not all the time you will be you will be free at that time. But everyone might be doing something or the other that may not allow you to study effectively. Find the time you feel comfortable. That is the best time for you to study. When you are you are ready to study, you find it easier easier. When you are ready to study, you find it easier for you to catch up with what you're reading and you get to understand things faster than you think. So if you're not comfortable about the time you are about to study, I don't advise you to study that time. Find the best time. As for me, like I said the first time, 
the best time for me to study is at night. Find your own time. But I know majority of people do study at night because that is the most quiet time of the day. So what do you do when you find yourself during the daytime? That is your best time to read. But it is springtime. It is summertime already and everywhere is hot and you can't read that time. What do you do? Make use of the fan or make use of the standard fan close to yourself and take shower before you start studying to make it easier for you to feel comfortable while studying. I have another suggestion. If you're feeling uncomfortable to study at that time because of the heat or the temperature during that day, just take the book. If you just want book, take it, go to the bathtub, find just dug yourself inside just make sure the book isn't wet hold it with your two hands and start reading you get to but don't fall asleep here i don't advise you on that before rounding up these four tips i would say the night is actually the best time made to study better those people who usually study a lot you understand what i'm trying to say that the night is effective time to study better the last tips to take is to study be, uh, freq, is to study frequently. When you study today and you don't study tomorrow is bad. Or you study today and you, before you study again is next week. That particular thing you are trying to learn, you, you will find it difficult. But when you do it all the time, today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and you keep on doing it like that for two for two weeks, you will find yourself in a different area of that field. We're trying to get to know about studying is a daily tax that keep on growing with you every day when you do it frequently you find yourself growing it growing in you it gives give it a try at least once a week what there is what they call advantage and disadvantage this is what i i want to talk about the advantage of reading most people find it that people who study are stupid like they are dumb, they don't know how to party, they don't know how to do other things as usual people, but it's a lie, they are the best of doing things on their own. But I want to tell you about the bonus tips to study better, get to know the advantage of it, Will at, at least it will help you to study more effectively when you know the gain, the, what you achieve from it, the achievement you get from it. Benefit from studying better that provide the, the learner with knowledge that he doesn't know about before. He gets to know some things that he don't he don't actually know before. But after going through, one thing I really stress about studying is that you gain a knowledge from it that it will keep on living with you throughout your life, no matter what career or path you choose to take. You will either have to help you one day or someday. So, if you're not studying, I will advise you to start studying. And people who find it difficult, please share this video to them to make them have the hush to keep on studying. Even though school are closed for the now, they have to, they can still study online and still chat with friends about books. Even though it is something difficult now. This video is dedicated to all students around the world, all college students and teachers and learners. So whatever knowledge you gain for this, from this video, I would like to share it with other people and everybody. So if you find this video interesting, don't forget to click on the like button, click on the subscribe button and also drop comment so I will know if I will have to put more effort on creating this video. So thank you.